Hello everyone and welcome back to Lakeview Cabin Collection. Now today guys, I'm not gonna be doing another episode, I've already completed them all, but the thing I haven't done in this game is I haven't watched the epilogue. After the full release of episode 6 came out, there was also an epilogue included in the game, but I couldn't play it, and the reason I couldn't play it is because I don't know why, but I didn't have all the achievements for completing all the different uh, all the different episodes. Even though I've done them, you may have seen them in the videos. If you haven't seen the videos, I'll try and leave a link in this video so you can watch them if you want. Personally, it's one of my favorite series I've ever done. Uh, I thought it was a really cool game. It's really strange. It's really, you know, just messed up. And I had a lot of fun playing it. I like puzzle games, but it's kind of hard to play those on the channel because not a lot of people... Uh, have the attention span to watch a puzzle game, but since it's just so weird and messed up at the same time, it just works, okay? So, um, yeah, there's an epilogue in this game now, guys. I spent several hours over the last couple days going back in and completing all the episodes again, and now, hopefully, this epilogue is going to fill in the gaps in the story, because... We don't really know a whole lot about what's going on. Before we go in, guys, I'll just go ahead and briefly explain each of these episodes just to, you know, refresh your mind. In Laiku Cabin 3, you are uh, being attacked by some clown guy. He's crying like a baby, and then um, you have to kill him, and then his father, I guess, comes out, and he has a knife, and he's really upset when he sees the dead body of the clown child thingy. He attacks you, you kill him, and then a lady comes out of the water. Ta-da! Da -da, start singing and uh, you have to either kill her or get killed by her and then the episode ends so that's like view cabin 3 it's very similar to the original flash game that one had to do with that uh, I think you're just getting killed by the red dude in that one not really sure it's been a long time honestly I thought about going back and doing the original again since it was such a long time ago since I did it not really sure if I will or not but uh, yeah so when, in Lakeview Cabin Episode 4, you're at some sort of summer camp, there's a whole bunch of cannibals, there's a guy with a pig mask and a chainsaw, whole bunch of really messed up shit happens. I'm not really sure how that relates, but there is a pregnant woman in it. There's a lot of references to babies in this one, like in this entire game. There's a lot of references to babies, dead babies, and parents. You see like, um, well I'll explain it now, in Lakeview Cabin 5, you're in a neighborhood, you have to summon demons, there's a child ritual sacrifice all this crazy shit and you see like in one of the houses there's portraits of the family that uh, I believe is in like Lakeview Cabin 3 the lady and the husband and the baby so uh, I know this is a lot to take in guys but this is not going to be a gameplay focused episode this is more of a discussion and things it's something I wanted to do I want to talk about this game because I really enjoy it and uh, I do want to show you guys the epilogue in case you haven't seen it so that's Lakeview Cabin 5 and then in Lakeview Cabin 6 you're in space and um it's not really that much of a tie-in to the other ones, I don't think. Besides for the fact that you can wear masks. You can wear uh, the, the masks of the different killers and things in this game, which is kind of interesting. And uh, also, there are some baby references. There's like, you know, demon mutant baby things that come out of this mother. So there is a mother and a child kind of thing there. There's a lot of mother-child things going on in each of these. So, yeah, that's a, that's just a brief explanation of the four episodes that are in this game, and now we're gonna go watch the epilogue. Okay, so we've never seen this guy before. Well, he might have been in some portraits, maybe. Do I, do I get to control him? Oh, I get to control him! Okay, good! I was thinking it was gonna be all story. I wanna sit down! I wanna sit down at my barbecue! Just hang out! Hmm... Okay, yeah, uh, we're not gonna do that. Let's, let's have a look around here. Uh, oh, it was a rake. I don't like rakes, guys. Rakes are the bane of my existence. Seriously, fuck those things. Um, can go in here. So this is a nice little cabin. You can see me and my wife over here. Good stuff. Gonna lie down and go to sleep. Nighty night. <laughs> Alright, get up, buddy. We have important things to do. Maybe. Uh, another chair. That Whoa! Okay, you can take your clothes off and put them on the chair, guys. Whichever episode you're playing in this game, I'm pretty sure they all involve getting naked in some way, which is kind of hilarious. These little pixelated naked people. Oh, what is this? Those are junks of wood. All right. In here, you got... Oh, a piano. Oh, How sweet. He's playing the piano. <laughs> he looks like he's really upset. I don't know if he has some, some, uh, you know, some problems in his life, perhaps. Over here, we got uh, nothing that you can actually interact with. There's an, there's an axe up there and something inside this cabinet. Is that supposed to be a clock, maybe? Not really sure. Okay, so, so, so far, we haven't seen a whole lot, but over here, there's an outhouse, guys. Never a bad time to take a shit. Oh, look at that little dick, man. <laughs> YouTube, don't flag this video. The dick is literally like nine pixels, okay? 
It's nothing, it's nothing to go crazy about. And then you come over here, and there's just water. I feel like if I go in the water, I'm not gonna be able to get back out again. But we can just restart if we want. No, there's no restart button. What's that noise? I don't hear anything now. I'm hopping in. Oh! We're gonna find our dead wife, guys. Or, or... What the hell was that? See, she drowned. It, she must have drowned because she comes out of the water several times. So does the baby. Did she possibly drown her baby? What is this thing? Is that a ball? I ain't got no one to play ball with, man. What am I gonna do now? There's the water again. What was that? You heard that noise. I don't know. I keep hearing noises, guys. I'm pretty sure I keep hearing noises. Do you wanna play ball with me, son? Yeah, I can hear like a creaking door. I'm gonna go back in here again. Hey! What you doing there, woman? Uh, is she pregnant right now? I can't really tell. And you never ask a woman if she's pregnant unless you know for sure, guys. Remember that. <laughs> oh, snap. And I woke up again. Hey, look! Look at this! Over here, guys, is the, is the laser gun. It's not making any pew 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 noises. I thought it did in the other one. But that laser gun is from, um, from Lake U Cabin 5. One of the, one of the, like, siblings. You know, the whole incest weird thing that happens. One of those siblings has a laser gun in his room. Alright. So, uh, so we know that she drowned. And then she came back and attacked me, which wasn't very nice, I will be honest. Um, let's take this ball and go for a walk over this way. We haven't been this way yet. Wait, is that is that this way for you? No, this way. Let's go that way. Damn it, the rake. Ah, hate this rake. Okay, throw the rake. Now I can't come back, guys, unless I want to get hit with the rake again. Uh, which wouldn't really be that big of a deal. What is this thing? Nothing. In here we got uh, a bucket. You can sit down. Oh, is this a sauna? This is a sauna, guys. This is one, this is one, like, pretty awesome little, little place he got here. Because, uh, I'm not really sure what it is. Is it a summer camp? I think one of the, one of the games is a summer camp for sure. Yeah, I think you're supposed to be camp counselors. Yeah, anyway. Oh, there's always a place to take off your clothes, guys. Oh, okay, so there's a bucket. We'll put the bucket over here. We'll get some water. No, water's not working. He's got sad again. Dude, why are you getting sad? Oh, shit. Don't throw away the key. Damn it, woman, you threw away the key. I'm gonna throw you away. Can't can't even do that. I'm gonna go get the key then. Whatever. Hey! Whoa! Sir? Sir? Cut that out. Ser seriously. Okay. So there's some very graphic uh, things taking place, perhaps. She looks like she's alive, but I don't know if she's consenting, which is not good. I'm gonna come over here and stop you from doing that. Hey, what's up? Bang, bang, bang. You, you want to talk? Take my clothes off for you, baby. Get back in bed again. You coming? She ain't coming. Hey, look at this. We got ourselves a clown mask, guys. That has something to do with my child. Because the child goes crazy and puts on a clown mask and runs around and goes, Bleh! and then kills people. There's no one over here now. Should I go back in the water again? Yes. Okay, and then this guy, this evil guy, apparently possibly raped her, and then he shot her. You, you're, you're not a very nice guy, I'll tell you that much for sure. Are you okay? So, how does this, uh, how does the red guy come into this? Uh, I think his name is Red. See, um, one thing I should point out, guys, is that after I go through this, I'm gonna go read the full story. Somebody posted a full story on the Steam community. Shout out to the Steam community. Like, the people who worked hard trying to figure this game out are champs. What's this? Oh, yeah, another place to take off my clothes. There's always a place to take off your clothes in this game. And now, guys, the satanic ritual is taking place. There's a top hat over here. Somebody had a top hat at one point. I'm good at holding my breath, guys. That's good. It's, it's a very important skill to have. There she is. And now she's going in a box. Listen, how many times am I gonna fall asleep and take off my clothes and then put them back on again? I'm not allowed to put them back on now. Oh, because I don't have them, of course. <laughs> you can only take off your clothes and lay them on something. You can't put on magic clothes. Um, that's an empty pill bottle. Okay, there was an empty, there, there was, there was a pill bottle you could overdose in, um, in Lakeview Cabin 5. That was one of the ways you could die. Dumb ways to die, of course. Hop back in again. R plus E. So this is red, right? Wait, that's me, right? Huh. Let's have, let's have a look here. How sweet. And then she goes all crazy and, and dead and stuff. 
And he's so happy about it. I don't know why he's so happy about that. You think he'd be a little bit upset that, that that's happening. Um, okay. I feel like this is some sort of like Groundhog Day scenario where I just keep on waking up. Hey, who's in this tent over here? What are you doing in this tent? I think the basic idea here, guys, is jump in the water and find out what happens. Oh, now she's eating people. Listen. Listen, are you eating your, your boyfriend? That's me. You're eating me. That's not very nice. You're naked, too. Well, I guess that's okay if you weren't a demon. Not really attracted to naked demons. You know. Back in the water again. Now there's that thing. What is that? Is that an eye? I'm gonna do it. Chop, 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 chop. What is this gonna do? Like, what, what, is this, what does this mean? What does it all mean, man? I don't understand. I, I guess I gotta stay here and do this. I got no... There we go. I woke up again. Not surprised. And hop back in the water again. R plus E. They're just loving each other a little bit more every day. Except for when she eats him. It's not, not, not good. I grew a mustache since then. Okay, this is way back in the day when I was just a young man. Kind of like I am now. Can't really grow a mustache. So what are you guys doing? Nothing. Okay, let me let me go on. The, I'm gonna go to the left this time. Past the freaking rake. I'm just gonna throw the rake in the water. I don't know why I haven't done that yet, guys. It's probably the best solution. That way I don't have to worry about ever hitting it again, right? Nah, I'll probably just come back. You know, the rake, the rake is here to plague my existence. How many times are you guys going to stand up and love each other? What do I need to do about it? Oh shit, guys. So it turns out the axe is available now. Not sure what I can do with it. Probably have to kill her with it, to be honest. I mean, she's standing up in my room. And, and like, I guess I'm going crazy. Yeah, I'm going crazy, man. I just keep waking up doing the same thing every day and she won't even talk to me and I just had to kill her, okay? I just had to chop her body up into pieces, apparently. That's not disturbing at all. All right, I think this is pretty much it. Going back to bed, good night. Well, now that she's dead, maybe something different will happen down here. Yes, it will. Now they are old people. They grew old together? You guys grew old together? How did this happen? You were like dead a second ago. And now you're old people just holding hands and rocking in rocking chairs. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm happy for you, okay? <laughs> Wake up. Your wife is dead, sir. And she left you. What the hell is that? Oh, Jesus. Is that her body? I think it's her body. Hey, kids! Cut that out! Excuse me, I have a body that I have to throw in this water. Oh, shit! Goddamn rake! God damn it! Stup shit! There. Now get the hell out there. So I guess I uh, I killed her, guys. I'm the one who killed her. And uh, threw her body into the water. And then she came back to hunt me. Look, here we are again, just growing old. Don't make me do it, man. Don't make me kill these kids! What? What was that? So I guess that's it guys. That is the epilogue. I'm not really sure what happened there. He went crazy. He killed his wife. And then he killed some kids. How does that tie into the rest of it? Well, as I said, they they uh, they summarized it all on the Steam forum. So I'm going to go in there now and we're going to read it. This is pretty incredible, guys. This story was posted on the 27th of March, apparently. And uh, it's actually uh, has like 703 comments on it. It's pretty popular um, for obvious reasons. Made in collaboration with the Lakeview Cabin community. Thanks, guys. We did it. If you don't want to hear me read some stuff, then this is the end of the video. That was the epilogue. If you want to find out what's going to happen or, or what it all meant, then I'm going to read this to you now. One day, a man and his family were at a cabin. His marriage was boring, his kids were annoying, and the Lakeview cabin was lacking in things to do. The man was depressed most of the time, so he decided to take some pills to relieve the sadness. That was the empty pill bottle. Okay. When he went to bed, he had nightmares. These nightmares were filled with horrifying visions of giant eyes, his wife killing him, and his wife being part of a cult. He wrote all the visions down in a manuscript, then killed his family with an axe. Now, I mentioned this in another video before, guys, or at least in the in the lucid dreaming uh, video I made where I discussed, you know, lucid dreaming, being able to control your dreams and things. I talked about how powerful dreams are. And you hear about this a lot. You hear about people killing people, um, going crazy, after they keep having the same dream again and again and again. Because dreams can really, really mess with you. So, I'm not saying it was a good thing he did that, but I'm saying that, um, 
That was definitely a factor in going crazy, seeing all this shit happen again and again. He wrote all these visions down in a manuscript, then killed his family with an axe. He filmed the whole thing and followed the manuscript exactly. He found new meaning in his life and escaped from the doldrum of life. Uh, he created a film that showed the murders of his family. He then disappeared, leaving behind the dead bodies of his family, the tape, and the manuscript on the island. What the fuck? Movie producers decided to take this story and make a movie out of it. This would become the original Lakeview Cabin. When the movie became a hit, they decided to cash in on the movie and release the real tape as a sequel. The tape was deemed unfit for theaters, so they decided to create Lakeview Cabin 3 and 4 and so on. So that was Lakeview Cabin 2 then, guys. That was the epilogue. That was the real story. Um, the story of the movies are as follows. So, okay, so this is um, this is just like a spin-off, basically, of the original story. But the original Lakeview Cabin, wasn't that guy a ginger? Or was he not a ginger? Maybe he wasn't a ginger. So who was a ginger? We're gonna find out. So first things first, there's a cult. The cult is situated on the lake and has been for some time. The cult worships a stone sarcophagus that has supernatural powers and summons some things, some sort of elder god. In the late 18th century, one of the cult members, Red Senior, so this is the red guy, got married to a woman named E, R plus E. They had a son, then joined the cult. When E gave birth to her second child, she found out that because of her husband's cult, her baby was actually a rat-human hybrid. Uh-oh, that's not good. She saw that the baby was suffering, so she killed it and buried it. Buried it? I said that really weird. The cult did not take kindly to E killing the baby, so they chased her down and killed her. Before she was killed, she helped her other child escape. When Red found out about this, he retaliated against the cult by burning down the factory they were in. The cult, however, pr proved stronger and mortally wounded him. In his final, final moments, Red Sr. hid in an abandoned room with a chest containing a note. The note was comprised of his final thoughts, and he had cursed the lake and all who lived on it, primarily the cult members. When he died, he went to limbo where his soul would forever be trapped. He has become something more, something evil because of the curse. Hmm. Several years later, Red III decided to move to the family lake unknowing of what had happened previously. Red married a woman when he met, who he met on the lake, E, and decided to open a camp. The E that he married was a supernatural embodiment of the curse, the same one that was killed several years earlier. Yes, I know it is his grandmother, this is Lakeview Cabin, get used to it. Yeah, a lot of messed up shit happens. They have several children and live a peaceful life. One fateful day, Red was drunk and angry, he had an argument with E, and ends up killing her. When the children are playing, Red puts his wife's body on the canoe and sails it away. Once it was far enough away, Red shoots it and it sinks. Red becomes a recluse, hiding out on his island and performing daily activities, but the curse is strong. The curse resurrects the wife and she comes back to kill Red. Red retaliates and kills her again. Now the wife has become separated from her child, the fetus. The child and her husband are now together, but the child is a supernatural force of nature like the wife and is hard to put down. So that's that, you know, screaming baby child. Um, the baby man child thing from Lakeview Cabin 3. The son and the daughter, daughter are now older, with the son living in the suburbs, and the daughter gets a job at the family summer camp. They think that their father and mother had died in a boating accident, unbeknownst to the daughter. The father is now completely insane and is hiding out on the island with his child. The duo attacks his companions, but are ultimately put down. The wife then attacks and is unsuccessful at her attack. The child and the father are dead, but are not returned to the lake. The wife does and is therefore reincarnated Again, she keeps coming back. I mean, you saw her in the um, in the Lakeview Cabin 6? Lakeview Cabin 6 in, in space. I mean, that was her. I forgot about that. She was actually the lady going, la, 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 la. And then she turns into a giant super mother bitch. So, a few years later, the son receives a letter. The letter tells him that his great-great-grandfather had passed away, and what he gets is his inheritance. In the inheritance, the son gets a box and a portrait of Red Senior. To acquire these things, the son has to go to a mansion. Inside the mansion, the son is brainwashed into believing the cult's beliefs and brings home the items. Fast forward a few years, a band is on its way to another concert when they run out of gas. So this is now Lakeview Cabin 4. They decide to stop at the mansion to ask for gas, but are soon attacked by the cult. They manage to kill everyone and escape, but not for long. At the same time as the events at the mansion, the son has started a killing spree in a local neighborhood. So that is where, um, you know, the guy with the red hair and the clown mask in uh, in Lakeview Cabin 4, no, 5 in the suburbs. Okay, so that's where we are now. He's harnessed the power of the curse and is invincible. The friends, man my friends manage to find out how to get rid of the son using the powers of the demon, E, and the killer. The son has been reunited with his mother, but not without consequences. By removing the box from the demon's room, they release Red Senior's spirit. Also, due to the mass murders at the mansion, the sarcophagus opens, letting loose the Elder God. 
The Elder God destroys, uh, proceeds to destroy the Earth, therefore leading to the construction of a space station and the evacuation of Earth. Okay, so some crazy shit happened at the end of Lakeview Cabin 5, apparently. Years later, the spirit of Red Senior has manifested itself into a new form, the CEO. That's the, that's the guy who's all like, yeah, saving humanity. And then he shoots everybody because there's not enough people. He creates a company that is devoted to researching the curse, and he creates a space station. This station was devoted to gathering artifacts that have been in contact with the curse and seeing their effects on people, such as the mutant babies that run around eating people's faces. The water in particular. One day on the station, the researchers have a party and accidentally release a fetus that has been tested uh, on with water from the lake. The fetus escapes and crawls into the mouth of one of the researchers. Red Senior finds out that he realize, finds out and realizes that E has taken control of the curse and is trying to destroy the station and all of the people inside it who are researching the curse. Red Senior then leaves the base on the escape pod right next to his office and waits at the refugee station for surviving researchers. The cleanup crew then deal with E and the infected person and then go to the, go to the refugee station. Red Senior waits to congratulate them and for their efforts uh, of stopping the one thing that was trying to stop the curse from spreading E. Years, late, years after the movie was released, a midnight showing of all the movies was put to try to make a little money at a failing theater. That's the main menu of Lakeview Cabin. Little do they know, the husband had come back. He did not like the movies that were made for obvious reason and has killed many people that were going to see them. One of the people uh, going to see them was a surprise guest, the actor who played Blue Shirt, but he killed himself before the husband could get to him. So that was the guy who hung himself and the main menu. The theater goer, the hobo, and the twins kill the husband and end the nightmare once and for all. That's the, the puzzle on the main menu. You can actually kill the sewer guy who apparently is uh, red coming back, I think. I think that's what they said. The story has come to a close, but here's the thing. The husband turned into a rat. Was he really just hallucinating or were the visions true? Thank you for reading. Okay, that is a really crazy story, guys. Like, this game blows my mind. It's like one of my favorite games ever because of the fact that the story runs so deep. And I just have a huge appreciation for, uh, I think his name is Rupe. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce his name. I think it's Rupe Taminen. He's the guy who made this game. And, uh, you know, I played the original. And then when he started coming out with this one, I really followed it closely. I've been talking to him a lot. He sent me, you know, copies of the game early and stuff like that. Yeah, it's just been just a crazy experience playing this game because, you know, it's one of those games you really have to think about. And I love really having to think about stuff like movies where you get these crazy endings where you're like, what the hell just happened? And that's how I feel after playing this game. What the hell just happened? So there you go, guys. That is the story of Lakeview Cabin collection, the entire thing. Uh, like I said, I would kind of like to go back and play the original again. Since it was a really long time ago, I'm not really sure exactly what happened in it. So if you want to see that, let me know. Just thought that might be a, an interesting idea. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.